I mean, while of course this weekend, although people are excited for holiday shopping and all of the deals, an increase in crime comes with it. Stores and shoppers can be easy targets for attacks. And we're all already seeing this again this year. Smash and grabs hitting retailers across the country. Just last year, retailers reported a 27% increase in thefts. Correspondent Robert Sherman reports what stores are doing now to combat crime. There's a lot of enthusiasm here as the holiday shopping season has arrived, but officials say no matter where you are, be on the lookout. Every year, thousands of shoppers nationwide flock to their favorite stores to snag the big blockbuster Black Friday deals. We try to make sure we get everything done in one day, and then we can just enjoy the holidays and chill out and not really have to worry about running and grabbing stuff. But this holiday season comes at a time when organized shoplifting is on the rise. Surveillance cameras catching thieves attempting to snatch bags off a of designer store shelves and smash through glass displays to get to jewelry. One of the most disappointing things for shoppers is to feel threatened by simply going out and being in a location that they perceive to be potentially dangerous. A survey conducted by the National Retail Federation found a 26.5% increase in organized retail crime in 2021. The type of products they're targeting are really the ones that we need on the shelf most. Amanda Dalton with the Northwest Grocery Association says oftentimes these are household necessities that can be resold, like baby formula and laundry detergent. And now, stores are taking things into their own hands, to the chagrin of some shoppers. Everything is now behind glass, just like Walmart. This is becoming the new normal, as stores attempt to protect their wares by keeping them locked away inside glass cases. Other stores, like Apple, Walgreens, and JCPenney, are doubling down on surveillance systems and heightened security. The company Target claimed on an earnings call earlier this year it had lost $400 million in profits thanks to organized shoplifting. Dalton says inevitably, the losses will be felt by the everyday honest shopper. We're always trying to keep grocery prices down, but we operate on a one to two margin, and so it can't help but be a shared community expense. Some small business owners say part of the issue is a lack of consequence. It takes time, money, resources in order to prosecute petty crime. And they say sometimes just not worth it. Natasha. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.